The Brothers War Commander decks are the first time Wizards had ever printed the Precons entirely in Old Border. This gives us a really unique looking deck and prints a bunch of the new cards into the Old Border for us to use. But if you've never built with the Old Border restriction before, it could be quite hard to upgrade these Precons while still maintaining their artistic charm. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how I'd upgrade Urza Chief Artificer on a budget while also sticking to the old border theme. This will involve swapping out 20 cards for $20 to tune this deck up considerably so it runs more consistently and kills much better. Urza Chief Artificer is an artifact creature deck focused around combat, with Urza himself granting menace to your artifact creatures and creating constructs that get bigger depending how many artifacts you have. So the deck has a bunch of artifact creatures and artifact support to make this ability work. These constructs are no joke either, and with the density of artifacts in the deck, can easily be quite big as soon as Urza is out. The lieutenant of the deck is Tornus Solemn Survivor, who can copy artifact tokens and do some graveyard stuff. You'll notice though that these guys don't really work that well together, and the deck design overall kind of reflects that, since they want you to be able to take the deck in multiple different directions with the alternate commanders. We, however, are going to focus on Urza's abilities and adjust the Precon to work better for him. So let's have a look at how the deck shapes up out of the box. With an average mana value of 3.56, we can see the deck is quite slow and top heavy on its mana costs. This is made even worse by there only being nine sources of ramp, which isn't normally a bad number, but for an artifact focused deck, we could do so much better. When we look at the removal, we can see we only have three board wipes and five targeted removal which is way too low in my opinion for a commander deck. We need at least another board wipe and target removal piece in this deck, along with switching out some of the bad cards like Phyrexian Rebirth, which is just too high in mana cost for what it does. The draw effects in the deck, however, are quite good, with cards that reward dealing damage to opponents, casting artifacts, and generic burst draw. While more draw is always good, this part of the pre-crown is quite well put together. So first, let's go through the cards I would cut from this deck. Looking at the lands, there are some here that you really don't want. Azorius Chancery, Demir Aqueduct, and Orzov Basilica. I don't like the Chancery or the Aqueduct bounce lands in any deck that doesn't care about landfall. All they do is slow you down and potentially force a discard if they're the only lands in your opening hand. As stated before, our top end is quite high, so I've cut a bunch of the really high cost cards. Hexavis, Sharding Sphinx, Sharoom of the Hegemon, Aether Sworn Adjudicator, Wire Surgeons, Mere Battlesphere, Thought Monitor, and Phyrexian Rebirth. Now, a lot of these cards aren't bad, but you simply cannot run this many six mana or more cards in a deck. It becomes way too easy to end up with a handful of spells you can't cast, or just be casting one spell a turn. As stated earlier, Tornus doesn't really do what Urza is doing. He's not bad, but I think he deserves his own deck outside of this, so I'm gonna cut him here. And on that note, we really want artifact creatures, and there's just too many non-artifact synergy creatures in this deck that don't do it for me. These are Sanwell, Avenger Ace, Alayla, Artful Provocateur, and Whirlerobe. We still have several artificers in the deck, but only the better ones, since too many artificers can spoil the artifact brew. And lastly, there are a few artifacts and other cards that just don't do it for me in this deck that I've removed to make room for some better cards. These are Relic of Progenitus, Kayla's Musical Box, Etch Champion, and Filigree Attendant. I don't like that Relic of Progenitus exiles our graveyard. Kayla's music box is just a bit too slow of a draw engine for a three color deck like this. And Filigree Attendant and Etch Champion are just fine, but we have better creatures to play. So that's the 20 cards I'd cut, but what am I gonna replace them with? Well, first some utility lands to replace the ones we pulled out. Buried Ruin, Terminal Moraine, and Terramorphic Expanse. Buried Ruin is a no brainer for an artifact deck and Terramorphic Expanse should have been included alongside the Evolving Wilds that is already in the deck. Both of these were printed in the Mishra deck, which gives us a copy of Old Border. Terminal Moraine, however, is just another fetch land to make sure we hit the right colors in the deck, and is a good include in a budget build. To fix our removal package, I've added a Chroma's Vengeance, Dam, and Path to Exile, moving us up to four board wipes and six targeted removal. Then to deal with graveyards, and to replace Relic of Progenitus, we have Soul Guide Lantern that just got an old border printing in Brothers War. That's right, I've got an old border now too, so there's no deck I can't play it in. To increase our ramp, I've added Wayfarer's Bauble, Ornithopter of Paradise, Burnished Heart, Commander's Sphere, and Mindstone. Ornithopter gives us another creature. Burnished Heart and Commander's Sphere are well-known commander staples that just got old boarded with Brothers War. All these cards help bump up our mana production and should let us get our expensive spells out consistently. 
Moving on, I've added some cool artifact synergy pieces with Semblance Anvil and Mystic Forge. These were both printed into Old Border with Brothers War, and with both Cust Reduction and Casting off the top of our library, they can let us peel off a lot of spells in a single turn. With our cuts, we took a lot of creatures out of the deck, so some new ones were also needed. These are Foundry Inspector for some cost reduction, Scrap Trawler to get value from things when they die, Traxos Scourge of Krog as a huge beater, and Scavenge Brawler for its on-field and graveyard abilities. All of these have just been printed into Old Border for the first time, either in the other Commander deck with Mishra, or as part of the set's Circus cards. Lastly, I have two extra draw cards that really should have been included in the deck. These are Read the Bones, since it's the best draw on a budget, and Fact or Fiction, which was actually in the Mishra's precon. Both of these are great draw cards for their mana cost. All up, these changes bring the average mana value of the deck down to 3.22, which is much more acceptable for a commander deck, and should help us generate lots of mana to get our threats out more consistently. The 6 drop slot is still a little high for what I'd like, but that's where most of our punch is, and we have some ramp now to make that work better. Overall, this is a pretty cool deck, and an interesting take on the often combo style of artifact decks. Urza himself can generate some really big constructs with all the artifacts we are running, and with all the recursion in the deck, it can be quite sticky on the board. If Urza can stick on the board for even a few turns, he can generate a stupidly large army of constructs that are all pumping each other up. This is very much my style of commander deck, and I think it'll be a fun one to tune over time. For now though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again next time.